So organizational change, you know, why is it, why is it needed? Uh, if, if you still aren't sold or you still are skeptical of why organizational change management should have anything to do with, with an ERP project or a large business transformation of that, that nature, um, you know, first of all, I, as I already mentioned, OCM increases business value because you have increased acceptance. And we already talked about that OCM and training is one of the top reasons for failed ERP. And probably the most important point is the third bullet, which is that software alone does not deliver be business benefits or performance improvements. It's the people that do. So you can have a perfectly designed and flawlessly executed technical configuration and, and implementation, but still have a massive project failure. In fact, we've seen more than one instance in our expert witness practice where the failure and the lawsuit had gotten so out of control but at the same time, the software itself worked perfectly fine. And so it became a lot of talk about what, what went wrong, why did the business, you know, why was the business brought to its knees as a result of this implementation where the software itself worked perfectly. I mean, it, it technically worked, but it wasn't working perfectly for the business, and that was the real problem. And that's where organizational change management bridges the gap between what the software can and does do and to what the way people can and should use the software. And finally, people fear change. And change management is a way, to, a way to alleviate those fears. So it, as I mentioned, OCM is not an optional thing that you, you, know, you can kind of maybe just choose to, to uh, roll the dice and see how it goes without change management. You can pretty much be rest assured that if you don't adequately invest in organizational change management, you are going to have trouble uh, making the project successful. So it is very much a, a critical success factor.